All right, in this problem, we're told about a giant redwood tree that casts a shadow of 532 feet long. We're asked to find the height of the tree um, if the angle of elevation of the sun is 25.7 degrees. So getting started on this, I always suggest draw yourself a nice picture. We're going to have our ground level going on here. We have a nice tree standing up. Sure. It's okay if you can't draw as nicely as I can. That's all right. That's a tree. In fact, let's see if we can move everything down just a little bit. All right, because we need a sun up here in the sky. We're going to have this nice sun going on here. And what that sun does is it's going to shine right down here. And what ends up happening is along the ground, we're going to get our shadow, right? That's blocked out by the tree. So that shadow is 532 feet across the ground here from the end of our triangle right up until the tree's base. All right, I'm also going to go ahead and assume that this tree is growing straight up and down. So we get this nice um, right angle for our triangle to go along flush with the ground there. All right, from here, now that we've kind of identified a little bit of this and got a nice triangle drawn, next thing I want to do is we want to find the height of this tree. So I'm going to go ahead and say H represents the height of this tree, that side of the triangle, basically. And from there, well, we are also given this angle. We're given that this angle here, the angle of elevation to the sun, is 25.7 degrees. So we want to make sure we get that in the correct um, corner of our triangles. We're setting this up. Now, if I want to label this, I can label the H is across the triangle from our angle that we care about. So we call that the opposite side. And then the only other value we know is that 532. We would refer to that as being the adjacent side of our triangle. The dash line where the sun is going down there from the top of the tree all the way to the end of the shadow would be our hypotenuse, but we don't really need the hypotenuse. Okay, from here, let's identify which of our trigonometric ratios we need to use. So we have so ka toa, right? We need the one that involves opposite and adjacent. So hopefully you can see from the end here that tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So let's use the tangent. So we can say tangent of the angle we care about, the 25.7 degrees, is going to be represented by the opposite, the h, over the adjacent side length. That was the 532 feet. All right, from here, we still need to solve this equation we just set up for h, but that shouldn't be too bad, right? We just need to multiply to get the 532 to the other side. In multiplying, we multiplied and we're dividing by the same thing, so that'll isolate the h on one side by itself. From here, let's just go ahead and put this into our calculator. Can't do 25.7 degrees in tangent in our heads. So let's find out, this works out to be approximately 256.03, and our units are going to be consistent with our other units that they're going to be in feet as well. So right about 256 feet for the height of our giant redwood tree. Um, take your time as you're doing this. Make sure that when you put that in your calculator at the end, you need to be in degree mode. So remember to put mode, make sure that we're not in radians, but we're actually in degrees in this situation. So I hope this helps out. Real life situation, we can use trigonometric ratios to help us solve.